Hello everyone, welcome to our Gymnastics at Home Club. My name is Tim and today we're going to work on balancing. The first thing you're going to need is we need a towel that is folded up so it can be our balance beam that we're going to work on. So you might want to just pause this video quickly, ask for an adult's help and we're going to fold up a beam so we've got something to practice on. And then when you come back and get that done, we'll get started. So for our warm-up, we're going to practice some things with our beam. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to stand on one side and we're going to practice jumping from our left side to our right side. So, jump to the right and to the left and to the right and to the left and right and left and right and left. And can you do it really fast now? Going right, left, right, left, right, left. What about, can you do forwards jumps? So we're going to jump over forwards and land, and then, without tripping on our beam, can we jump backwards across back to the other side? So forwards and backwards, take this one slow, forwards and backwards and forwards, and do a really big jump backwards this time. Try and get right over, big jump backwards, over to the other side. Now, we're going to do some stepping up and down. So we're going to go one foot on the beam, two feet on the beam, one foot off the beam, second foot off the beam. But we're going to try and do that a bit quicker. So we go up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Can you do that one? We can start to make it a bit quicker. We can do that. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Can you do that some more? Up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Good job. What about, can we put that all together? So what do we do a bit of? Starting on our left. Jump to your right. Jump to your left. Jump forwards. Jump backwards. Step up, up, down, down. Jump forwards. Jump backwards. Up, up, down, down. Jump forwards. What about this time? Can you go stepping up, backwards, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Can you do that? It's a bit tricky when it's behind you. Can you go faster? So up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Oh, good job, everyone. Let's shake our bodies out, twisting around. Can you shake your fingers, shake your arms, shake your whole body, and stop. Can you reach down towards your toes? Can you touch your toes? Are your legs straight or are you bending your knees? Try and do it with nice and straight legs. Can you grab one foot and pull it towards your bottom? Can you balance there without wobbling too much? How steady can you be? Place that one down. What about the other side? Pulling our foot up to our bottom. Maybe you need something to hold on to to help you. That's fine. Can you put your hands on your hips? and make your hips do big circles around and stop can they go the other way as well and stop can you dance your hips side to side and circle again what about some of our shapes do we remember these so we have a rocket shape where we stretch up as tall as we can. A star shape where we stretch our arms and legs out to the side nice and strong. And we also have a tuck sit on our bottom where we gotta hold our knees into our chest. How about we practice them, but we're gonna stand on our beam and do them. So, 
stand on your bin. If your feet are big like mine, maybe they won't fit right next to each other, so we need to put one a little bit in front of the other to make it work. So I'm going to do a rocket shape. And a star shape won't work like this, so maybe I need to twist my body and balance my star shape. And rocket shape. And star shape. And, ooh, a tuck set will be tricky. We've got to go all the way down. Don't fall off your beam. Sit on your bottom. And here, hold yourself there. What about, can you just do, lift your feet off the beam, but still keep balancing on your bottom in your tuck. And, rocket shake. Try not to fall off. Stretch up tall. And star shake. Can you reach towards your toes without falling off in your star shape. And stand back up. Whoa. Can you do your rocket shape? What about rocket shape on your tippy toes? Make yourself as tall as you can. Very nice. And back down to our tuck sit. On your bottom, hold your knees. Are you gonna fall off? Lifting your feet again. Well, good balance, don't fall, and stand up. Let's try now, we'll go to the back end of our beam, and we're gonna try walking across. You can go flat feet, and put one foot just in front of the other, and then you've gotta go backwards again without falling off. Slow and steady, don't touch the floor below you. Oh, I'm almost there. I won't fall off. Then, this time, I'm going to try and go on my tippy toes and walk across. So I've got my arms to help me balance. Walking on my tip toes, staying on the little beam. Don't fall off. Good. If it's tricky to go backwards here, maybe you want to go back on your flat feet. But if you think you can, you can still stay on your tippy toes and walk backwards. It'll take a lot more balance though, so be careful. All the way at the end, don't fall. What about this? Can I stretch my feet apart a little bit? And can I bend down? Maybe I need my hands to help me a bit. Can I touch my knee and go back up? And then change legs. Can I touch my knee? And then go back up. Very good. What about, can we do some zigzag jumping. So we're going to start off our beam and we're going to go jump across and forwards, across and forwards, across and forwards, all the way to the end. And then we're going to try and go backwards as well. This one will be a bit tricky. Across, backwards, across, backwards, across, backwards, across, backwards. And maybe we'll finish, we'll jump on to the beam. Good job. Can you this time, can you just stand on one foot on the beam? So lift one foot out behind you, and can you hold, you look a bit like an aeroplane here with your arms stretched out to the side. Try not to wobble. Put the other foot down. And can you stretch your foot out behind you and balance? Don't fall. How high can you get your back leg to go? Can you lift it way up behind you? What if you bend your foot? Can you get even higher? Oh, good job. We're gonna try some of our animal movements next across our beam. So we'll see how that goes. Our first one is our bunny hop. So if you remember these, we have our hands on the floor and we're just gonna go hop and try and get our heels to touch our bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put both my hands on my beam, and I'm gonna go hop, and try and get my feet to go across the other side. Then, I reach my hands, and go hop again. Reach my hands forwards, hop. Reach my hands forwards, hop, across again. Let's go back to the start, we'll try that a bit quicker. So hands are on. Hop across, move your hands. Hop, move your hands. Hop, move your hands. Hop, and we're at the end. 
what about what about can we be a caterpillar? So I'm gonna move my hands first. Walk my hands, walk my feet. Walk my hands, walk my feet. Walk my hands, walk my feet. Oh, and I'm running out of space. So that was our caterpillar. What about what about this tricky one? Can you be a crab? Maybe I'll do this one first. I'm just going to be a crab with my feet, my crab feet on the beam. So I'll place my feet on top. My hands are just on the floor. And I'm going to try and walk my feet across the beam without letting them touch the ground all the way to the end. Then when I get to here, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to put my crab claws on the beam this time and walk sideways across. If that's okay, we can make it a bit trickier. I'm going to try and be a crab all the way across, hands and feet on the beam. So I start sitting down, I lift my crab bottom up, and I'm going to walk and balance across the beam without falling off, all the way until the end. That one was a bit more tricky for my arms. Let's shake our body out again. Let's just do one last thing before we go. Can we practice our shapes again? So this is, let's, let's see a rocket shape. Show me a rocket shape. So that looks like this, stretch up tall. What does a tuck seat look like? On your bottoms, hold your knees. Don't let it crack open. What about a star shape? How does a star shape look? Can you stretch your arms and legs out to the side? Nice and strong. Very good. Now you've just got to remember those shapes for next time and we'll do this again sometime. So that's the end. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.